Greetings, I'm Robin and this is my book club and it's episode number 31. This time we're looking at Georgian Spring, a remarkable book with a remarkable story behind it. Now the book is subtitled A Magnum Journal and therein lies a clue. This book then is a collaboration between 10 Magnum photographers, uh, an archive, the Magnum archive, and some photographs which seem a bit like postcards. I'm not entirely sure whether they are postcards or whether they might be the work of one of the photographers. So what I would like you to think about um, while you look at the photographs in this book is to consider each of the photographers, each of the 10 photographers whose work we see and the archive, and to consider which of those you like the most and why. To consider whose photographs are most similar to your own photographs and why. And to consider perhaps whose photographs are most successful. So let's look at the uh, the introduction from Thomas Dvorak. Uh, he says, The idea of a group of Magnum photographers coming to Georgia was first discussed with President Mikhail Saakashvili in December 2008. He was excited and it all happened very quickly. We arranged the sponsorship from the Ministry of Culture. The photographers started arriving at the end of February 2009 and the last one finished at the end of April. I am based in Tbilisi while each of the other photographers visited for two or three weeks. Each had a subject, a theme to focus on, but it wasn't a magazine assignment. Their job was to be what they are. Travellers, individualists, with their own points of view, free to notice what they thought worth noticing on their own journey of discovery. Of course, their experiences were shaped by their guides, writers, filmmakers and other local personalities with their own views, who joined them as their drivers, translators, fixers, their Georgian companions. Some people may scream and call it propaganda, photographers lending their talents to help get people interested in Georgia. For me, I have no problem with that. To have brought my fellow Magnum photographers to Georgia is one of the big stories of my life. It's the best thing that I could wish, to be able to bring the best people I know to the country I love, share it and have them fall in love with it too, which I'm happy to say they did. Will you? I think you might.
An amazing book, I hope you agree. One of my favourites, I bought it back in 2009 when it was first published and uh, you can get it, it's hard to get it new at the moment, obviously it's a 12 year old book, but you can pick it up second hand online for 20, 25 pounds, maybe 30 pounds posted, somewhere in the region of that and it is an excellent book. Um, there's so much to recommend in it. So many different photographers with their different styles. And for me, I'm not going to play favourites, but Mark Power. I know I didn't, able, I wasn't able to kind of show those photographs as well here because he shot them in the uh, in the landscape format, and I couldn't really turn the book around. It's just a bit of a faff. But Mark Power, the work he made here is amazing. And luckily for you, I've got some more Mark Power lined up for sometime in 2022. And I think next time it's going to be a little bit more Martin Parr because you can never have too much of a good thing, right?